Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where we will be walking you through some SEO tips for local or location-based businesses. Now this video is part of our larger SEO series here on the Wix Training Academy channel. So if you have not yet already checked it out, you might want to do so after this video and be sure to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when a new video drops on the channel because we have so many tips, tricks, and trainings to be able to help you grow your Wix website and your business to generate more leads and sales. So this video, like I mentioned, is part of the larger SEO series. Now, if you have not yet already and you're just getting started and wanting to know where to really start with it, we do recommend watching the first couple of videos in the series because those have kind of the overall strategy for the SEO on your site. And by the end of the series, you should be able to have a very clear SEO strategy and also have been able to implement that. Now, the rest of the videos here in the series, we will be following up. We will be answering some of the questions that you've had regarding the series, as well as giving you some bite-sized trainings and more of the implementation videos. And so that's what this is. Okay, so like I mentioned, today's video is going to be for local or location-based businesses that have a physical address, like whether you have a brick and mortar storefront, or maybe you're serving a particular geographic location, this would be for you. Now, the first tip that we have for you is when you are developing your keyword strategy, and when you are adding some of the long tail keywords to your website, it is going to be important that you add your location or locations to some of the keywords that you are attaching to the Wix website. So when you are getting started with the SEO Wiz here on Wix, one of the first things that you are able to do is choose the three to five keywords that will be assigned to your website. And it is important to add if you are a local or location-based business where you are serving clients in a specific area, it is important to have some of the keywords match your locations. Now, the next thing that you wanna make sure you have done in your dashboard is we wanna make sure that you have correctly identified that you are a business that's serving a physical location. So when you go in here to your dashboard, the easiest way to find this is usually to just type into the top like location or address and it'll say, oh, okay, so this is where you wanna tell us where your business is located. So step number one would be to click on this particular page and as you can see here it's actually located under the settings and this is where you want to put your business location or locations so maybe you have um maybe you have one website and you know one website covers multiple locations as you can see here that you can add a secondary location um, you can type in your addresses um, so that's what you would want to do the other thing is if you have multiple websites with different locations but it's all the same brand you want to make sure that you are attaching the local address for each specific place into the SEO setting so for example Maybe you are or operate a tanning salon business and you have multiple locations and multiple websites. You would be able to say, okay, tanning salon, uh, lo like this location here. So with the key, the long tail keywords, you want to make sure that you're implementing those on the site and or pages. So for example, if you own a tanning salon and you have multiple different, um, multiple different locations, but they're all underneath of the same site, then that's where you would add that long tail keyword, right? So it would say tanning salon, um, Miami Beach, Florida. You would add that specific long tail keyword 
to that individual page, if that's making sense. Okay, so one of the first things you wanna do is number one, make sure that you have added your addresses to the Wix site. So you've updated your location, you've connected that. The other thing you wanna do is make sure that you are listed for like a, the physical address with Google. Okay, so promote your business on Google search and maps. This is another very important thing and so many businesses miss this and it's very easy to do right here through Wix, it's all in one spot. So this is where you're able to get started with a Google business profile, you're able to enter your information and then that will also connect automatically which will help you rank higher as well. And then we did talk about identifying the long tail keywords and implementing those for your site. So, and making sure that your long tail keywords include what you're doing, but also the location that you're serving. So for example, um, if I am Hannah Clark and I am a trusted real estate consultant, in my SEO settings, when I'm adding the keywords to my page, my site pages, when I'm adding the keywords to my website, if I'm serving clients in one particular area, I might want to say, Hannah Clark, trusted real estate agent, Miami Beach, Florida, right? Or um, Palm Beach, Florida. Wherever I'm serving, I want to make sure that my location is integrated into my keyword strategy so that I am able to pick up on those local search results for people who are searching for me on Google. So those would be our three like best tips if you own and operate a brick and mortar, a local or a location-based business, that would be the best place to start. If you have any questions or you own a business like that and you're using your Wix website, go ahead and let us know down below if this video was helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead, click on subscribe and the bell if you haven't yet already, and be sure to come back and join us for the rest of the videos here in the series. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.